Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Goblin Gaming. Uh, today we're going to build uh, some HESCO barriers for some you know, scattered terrain, line of sight blockers. Um, these are another quick simple one uh, based off of a lot of last week's video. Um, we're still going to need some more of our one inch tall cubes. The one inch and a sixteenth by an inch and a sixteenth. And again, you go ahead and just kind of 45 the edges here. These ones don't have to be very clean. We're going to cover them up pretty quick. Next, we'll just take some general packing tape here. Rip yourself off some. What you're going to do just fold into the sticky side and just give yourself a little eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of a lip there. And just go around your piece of foam. And you wanna, you don't need it to go too high because if you do go too high, then it's gonna look kind of empty unless you waste a lot of glue and material. If you get any wrinkles in the tape, it's not a big deal. If anybody's ever messed with a tote before, trying to put dirt into it, you know that sometimes they're kind of just a pain. So it'll make it look a little bit more authentic. So just go all the way around. Go ahead and rip it off. And just go around the bottom. Oh, try not to do that. And the more of this you can get off, the cleaner the line, the better it's going to be, the flatter they'll sit. But any excess you have, you can just fold it over or go after it with a pair of scissors. Uh, just like last time, I like to dig out mine in a couple spots so I can fit some weights in there. Usually four is a good amount. I mean, if you want to go heavier, you can, and then depending on the size. All I have left are my small ones. But go ahead and pack those in there, then you can hot glue gun them. These ones won't have a pallet underneath them unless you really want them. Uh, I'm not. They're just going to sit flat on the ground. So you just uh, hot glue gun those. Then you're going to grab either your Elmer's glue, or I like to use just wood glue. A little less runny it sets up a little harder just make sure you clean your tip out when you're done otherwise it just doesn't work come on just spread that around the top piles a little bit it's not too big of a deal and take your bowl full of dirt or whatever you got your dirt in. And I just scoop mine in. Get a nice little pile there. And then just set it off to the side until it dries. And then once it is completely dry you can go ahead and just dump off all the excess. And then uh, take that and go over it with your uh, Mod, Pod, Mod Podge and black paint. You're going to come out with something like this. From there, uh, whatever color you're going to pick for your dirt, I did a deep brown and then just a tan dry brush over the top of it. Um, and then pick the color of your tote. So originally I went with kind of an off-white and realized I was basically just painting it back the same color as the tape. So I went ahead and I'm going to do mine more of an OD green. And so you can see the brown there. And then from there, it's pretty much just like the last video. I've taken my board here and I've got some of that uh, tape. All I'm going to do is take it and go as high as you want. But remember, you can get double of them out of there if you get the distance right. 
So you just go around, doesn't matter where you start, where you end. Go ahead and go around. Again, self-sticking, so they're not that bad. Cut off your excess. And then you can hit this with just a little bit of super glue or whatever, or if you want to spray all your stuff with a sealer, it'll help hold that down. And you got your next one there. So when you're done, you know, go ahead. I did a that light dry brush, and that's all you need to do. So let's come up a little bit. But uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, um, leave a comment. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.